Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial in the series Clinic Management System in C Sharp. So what we're gonna do in this video is create a hash function to hash our passwords because simply the passwords are not stored in the database as plain text. So we want to create a class first because we want this function to be used uh, in many forms. Okay. So starting with the login form, we're gonna create a new class so right click on the project name click add and choose class so i'm gonna name it utils which stands for utilities okay okay so this is our class utils i'm gonna make it a public class and i'm gonna make the function uh the hash function i'm gonna call it hash passwords so i'm gonna make it public static string because it's going to return uh, the hashed password we're going to name it hash password and it's going to take a string which is the plain password so i'm going to give it password okay so we will be using system.security.cryptography and the algorithm that we're going to use is basically the SHA algorithm. So we're creating a new object. We we'll call it SHA one crypto service provider. So this is a class type. And we're gonna name the object SHA one equals new SHA one cryptography or crypto service provider. Okay. And then we need to get the bytes representation. Of our password so we're gonna create a byte array byte array password underscore bytes is equal to encoding dot ASCII dot get bytes and then we provide our string which is simply password then SHA1 the compute hash then we'll give it the array of bytes which is basically password underscore bytes and it's going to return array of bytes, which represent the encrypted password. So I'm going to create a byte array, byte. I'm going to name it encrypted underscore bytes, which is going to be equal to this compute hash function. Okay. And then we're going to return the string. So return convert dot to base 64 string because we want to convert this by array to a base 64 string and give it the encrypted bytes and that's it for our hash function we now go to the code for the form one which is actually the login form and at the line when we pass the password to our query we're just gonna call the function so utils dot hash password and then we give it our password, which is in text box one dot text. And that's it. In the database, I have already um, hashed the passwords that we've been using before. The admin is admin123, secretary123, and doctor123. So let's give this a try. So I'm going to enter the admin, admin123. Here we go. And if we enter something else, communication field, let's give it a test for the doctor. One, two, three. Here we go. Okay, so that's it, guys, for hashing the passwords, and see you in the next tutorial. 